traveling, getting a road game under our belt, and uh, see how it goes. You still have any kind of slim hope for AB? Or? It, it's very questionable. Very questionable for both he and Kevin. Kevin's got a, cl a closer chance. Do you have, do you have a sense? Is it reasonable to think that both the folks on the COVID list could be back for, for the next week for the Patriots? Oh, I would hope so, yeah. yeah. Coach, is it important to do a walkthrough at Cell 5 before the game, or is that pretty No, bad? it's, uh, it's no, no, no big deal. And, uh, you know, it's the uh, same thing like going into Vegas last year, you know. Um, it, it's it's louder than it used to be probably at the, at the Coliseum, and we're we're ready for the noise. But as far as the field itself, it's they're all the same. I guess this is the reason you draft uh, outside linebackers in the first round, right? <laughs> yeah, we got lucky with that one, and uh, and a really damn good one. <laughs> is there is there any concern about him starting or playing as many snaps as he's likely to play? Where, where he's at? Now he'll make some mistakes, but he's going to make some things happen full speed too, you know, and uh, got all the confidence in Nelly too. Nelly's been playing really, really well too. Coach, I know it's a mistake, but would you rather have it a commission or omission? What's that? Where the guy's making a mistake at full speed or a mental one? Uh, as long as it's full speed, good things sometimes happen, but, uh, you know, um, you, you try to eliminate them as many as possible, but uh, you know, for him, good things can happen as fast as he goes. Bruce, as much as you guys brought in last year, obviously to be part of the championship team, I just want to see about Stu and how much he was a part of, of kind of the original plan and what he's done for you that way. Yeah, a tremendous leader, tremendous player. Still, you know, he's like Tom. He's amazing. He's got his routine, and it works for him. I don't mess with it, and uh, he's still playing at a very high level. But his leadership uh, in that room is amazing. Coach, is it nice to know whether it's not going to be a problem? Yeah, that's always a good thing. That's always a good thing. I'm interested to in see how the stadium uh, actually works as far as, you know, being open air or whatever it is. And uh, it's a beautiful looking on, on film, that's for sure. You know, guys on this team, Super Bowl team, all have to accept their roles. And this, this is, you know, when you have a guy like A.B., Scotty not going to get as many, hasn't had a target this year. Um, Tyler got one last week, but... I mean, how they handled that, right? Because as a young player, you know, Scotty had a lot of success. And, and yeah, I, I think everybody has respect for the guys in front of them in that room, you know, and uh, and just chomping at the bit to get their chance. Because every time they've gotten a chance, they've proven that they're worthy of being out there. And uh, and the guys that are in front of them know, uh, hey, I'm tapping out. I got a fresh, good body going in, so I don't have to play tired either. Coach, winning solves a lot of egos, right? Uh, there's no doubt about it, and uh, you know, it's as long as we have Tom throwing the ball, nobody's going to bitch about who gets it. You mentioned kind of leaving the door slightly open for, for Kevin possibly going. It would be okay for him to play, having not practiced all week. Yeah, he's been playing a special teams role for forever, so it's that that assignment never changes. You know what I mean? And so it'd be a struggle for him to play in the defensive game plan, but as far as special teams, he could do his job. Yeah. Jalen then have an opportunity to maybe play his first NFL game, you think? Yeah, looking forward to it. Looking forward to him getting out there and, and uh, seeing what he's got. There we go. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it, guys. You bet.